everyone, so welcome to today's video and Happy New Year to you. This is officially the first video that I'm filming in the new year. All the videos that I've posted previously were pre-recorded, the best in beauty videos that I have enjoyed. So much sharing with you, my favorites for last year, but today's video is going to be focused more on a specific brand. I'm talking about Laura Geller products today. I really do feel like this brand is kind of under the radar. I feel like it's been slept on. There's some really great gems within this brand that I have loved for years. Some I have loved very recently. I've added to my collection over the last year, year and a half. And I bought some newer things recently just to kind of expand my Laura Geller collection because I really do believe that the brand has phenomenal formulas. And no one is really talking about it, so I thought it would be kind of fun to talk about some of my favorite products. Just highlight some things. If you're curious about this brand, if you've seen them on Instagram or in someone else's video on YouTube, TikTok possibly, and you're kind of curious about it and you have questions or you're kind of wondering, this video hopefully will help you out and this video is for you to kind of give you some guidance on where to start. If you're looking at the website and wondering what is the brand most known for, hopefully I can answer all those questions for you today. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with some of my very favorite products and I will insert some demos and application of these products so you can kind of see how some of these perform. I will talk you through the entire eye look and lip combo towards the end of the video, but we're gonna start off with probably the first step that someone will probably do if they're going to use this product, it's usually the first thing that you apply after skincare and that's a primer. She is known for her spackle primers. There's a few different options, some with shimmer, some that are tinted. This is just clear. I've had this in my collection for almost a year at this point and it comes out kind of like a milky white color and you will see in the demo and it goes on clear. It doesn't really alter the finish of my foundation. It doesn't add any sheen, shimmer, no color, nothing. It's just straightforward a basic priming product to sort of create an even canvas to start with your foundation. Whatever the foundation may be, this is a primer that helps sort of perfect the skin and get it ready for foundation. And I do think that it helps with longevity as well. So on the back you will see if you buy this product, it's written on there and it's probably on the website as well. It's a cream to gel formula that really helps perfect the skin, help with minimizing the look of fine lines and pores. And it has antioxidants like ginkgo biloba, leaf extract, calendula, I think that's how you pronounce that, to help soothe and brighten the complexion, squalane and echinacea to moisturize and boost collagen production. So it's got a lot of skincare benefits to it, so I do think that that's another added bonus. It's not just a primer, it's not just another makeup product. There is something kind of skincare-like about this. And Next up is foundation. And I think that everybody probably has heard at some point about the balance and brighten from Laura Geller. This is the one called Fair, which is the one that matches my skin tone the best. There's a few different options. So in today's demo, you will see that I have already applied a very thin amount of my foundation. And I used a little bit of my Estee Lauder Double Wear to do a very thin layer. I would say the amount that I use is probably equivalent to about half a pump. I stretched that as far as I could across the face to sort of even out my complexion. And then I'm gonna show you how this goes on. So this is a very pretty sort of swirled product to look at and you'll see that sort of theme in a lot of her products that are baked. It's got the veining of different shades that you swirl together with your brush or whatever tool you're using for application and you apply this and I'm using it in the form of setting my foundation and also amping up a little bit of the coverage because I chose to use that double wear as a more light coverage product, a thin amount. This is gonna add a little bit more coverage to that. It's not necessary with that foundation if you're curious about that liquid foundation. But this, I've actually demoed this powder from Laura Geller previously before in a video months ago over the summer of using this, just this as my main foundation for the day for an everyday look. So that's why I chose to do it differently today to kind of let you see how this looks as a sort of step after foundation. So kind of boosting your coverage, kind of setting your foundation and not so much just this on its own as the main product. Certainly you could do that and that it's technically what it's advertised as, as being a foundation, but you can use it like I did today in the demo or on its own. It's beautiful, it looks so fresh and just light on the skin. It makes your skin look like skin, but better. And it doesn't sit in fine lines. It doesn't accentuate texture or dryness. They also have a version that is more luminous for someone who likes a more luminous kind of radiant finish. So if you like that, there are options out there on the website for that finish, but this is going to give you that natural kind of skin-like finish. It's not flat, chalky, and matte, but it's not shimmery, it's not radiant, it's not dewy, it's just right. 
Another product that I think is really great is also her bronzer. It is the Baked Bronze and Brighten. I also have it in the Fair Shade, which I think it's ideal to find a bronzer that kind of complements your skin tone and undertone. This one has that kind of marbleized look to it where you can see different tones, a swirling of pink to really add a bit of rosiness to it. And I've used this so many times before, and I will show you a demo of how I apply this product, but I do think that this is one of her other great products. It follows that same sort of baked formulation as the powder, but this is marketed as the bronzer. And there's a few shades, again, you can choose based off of your skin tone that would be best suited for you. Another great option to experiment with the brand if you are new to Laura Geller and you don't know where to start, but you want to pick a few things and have a way of trying it at a much more affordable way, then I would recommend that you check out these sort of full face palettes. This is the Full Face Basics, which is the first one that I bought. And then at the beginning of November, I saw that this was on the website. This is the best of the best Tuscan Dream. So this is a little bit deeper. This is more of everyday. This is my everyday. I would say every weekend when I go out, when I do film, I tend to do the whole nine yards, but when I am getting ready to go out with my kids or run errands, I use this after I apply my foundation and concealer and it does everything for me. So I wanted to show you a demo of how I use these products today to kind of give you the look that we are wearing for the day. And I will also show you an eyeshadow look as well and I will do that in just a talk through tutorial using the Laura Geller um, and Wheel of Fortune collaboration that I also picked up in November. I thought this was really cute, so I thought why not use it since we're talking about Laura Geller products. So I'm going to show you the demo of how I got the blush bronzer, the eye look, so I hope you will enjoy that and let's go ahead and get started. Now that we have the complexion pretty much taken care of, I do need to start adding some warmth and color back into my skin, so I'm gonna do that with the next product from Laura Geller, and this is the Baked Bronze and Brighten. I have the shade Fair. So it looks like the same component as the powder. And here's what it looks like on the inside. It's marbleized with different swirls of colors. You have a few shades of like a warm kind of brown, tan, and then just very subtle kind of pink streaks to this that really give it a really pretty kind of rosy undertone. The first brush that I grab, which happens to be a Sephora Pro powder brush, it's the number 59. I've been actually using this brush for bronzer lately and I do enjoy how it applies products. So I'm gonna just use some of this and just kind of sweep it across the temples and apply this in the same way that I would any other bronzer. And this is instantly going to add some life back into my skin, kind of warm everything up. And do you see that kind of rosiness, that flush is coming through on my cheeks? You can probably see it a little bit better here in this area versus back here. You can see that it adds a bit of rosiness, which I think is so, so pretty and very flattering. Some of my other favorite products from this line are the blushes. And this is the Baked Blush in Brighton in the shade called Tropic Hues. Bought this several months ago and I really enjoy this. It's a really pretty kind of pinky berry tone. And again, it follows that same marbleized effect which adds a really pretty element to her products. Back in the beginning of November, I believe, is when I noticed that the Best of the Best Tuscan Dreams, which is another sort of book-shaped product of hers, was available for purchase. It's basically the same exact as the first one that came out. This one is a little bit lighter and more softer tones, which is kind of more everyday. This one is a little bit different, and I will show you the inside of this. It has a mirror, just like the first one, but this one gives you six eyeshadows that are the baked formulas. And then you have some face products down at the bottom, her best-selling French vanilla highlighter, the marbleized blush, look how pretty that looks. And it's like the camera doesn't really do it justice too much. I've been playing with this a little bit on and off, trying to kind of gather my thoughts for this video. And I think the formula is really great. And I have been a big fan of the sort of baked eyeshadows, which is kind of the that last little nudge to get me to purchase this because it has six in this sort of setup, the Tuscan Dreams, whereas the Full Face Basics only has three of her baked eyeshadows. Pretty kind of pinky, corally type of blush. This one is called Starfish Island. These are all available individually as well if you are interested in buying just the individual product that you are most interested in trying. So I've loaded up my brush with the Starfish Island blush. And I'm just going to apply this kind of on the tops of my cheek. And you don't really need much. This does build up quite nicely and looks really, really pretty 
when you apply it and it just kind of melts into the skin. That's one of the things that I love the most about this brand is that it's really an easy formula to work with and you can see that it does add quite a bit of color but it still looks really soft and then you can always go in with your sponge and just kind of tap out the edges. I'm going to use the French Vanilla Highlighter that's in this palette as well. And that's just a standard, really soft, pretty kind of ethereal candlelit glow. I would say this is probably most similar to, think of an hourglass like ambient lighting powder. Very, very light. Now you could definitely build this up. For today's eye look, I thought it would be fun to play around with this palette. This is the Laura Geller X. Wheel of Fortune, isn't this adorable? The packaging is just so cute. Absolutely adorable. I love the sort of Wheel of Fortune theme. I thought it was pretty neat and cute, but I think what's nicer and prettier is what's on the inside. So when you open this up, you get a series of shadows. Now these are going to be a sort of traditional, if my camera will focus, more of a traditional press pan sort of look versus her baked, which has that sort of domed shape that you see in the face palettes, or if you just get the baked eyeshadow formula palettes. This is going to be a traditional um, sort of press pan like you see in most every palette that's on the market. So we're gonna start off with one of the lighter shades. With a BK Beauty 212 brush, I'm gonna start taking the lightest shade in this palette, which is this one here. It's a matte, kind of like a light sort of ivory type shade, and I'm gonna use that to set my base, which is the Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. That's what I use to start every eye look as my eyeshadow primer. Take just a little bit of this color, just sweep it to help with blending. Then to start carving out my crease and create some dimension, I'm going to go into this shade here that has the U letter on it. And it says Laura Geller, by the way, on the letters. Isn't that adorable? So I'm going to take this one, which is like a nice, light, sort of neutral, transition type of shade and I'm going to apply that right into my crease following the natural shape and as you can see there's pigment and it's just easy to blend and work with. I'm not really having to work that hard to get this to show up. It's a really great formula I think. As I said before a lot of her products are honestly slept on. Like people need to get on this bandwagon of trying her formula because she makes really really nice products. I'm going to wipe off that same brush really well on a paper towel and I'm going to use that to blend a little bit of the edge of that color and I'm going to dip back into that first shade that I used to prime my lids, that ivory shade, and help with blending the edge of that color. I like to do this as I sort of work and create looks. I like to continue blending and work to soften my edges as I go. I think it just kind of helps make the look a little bit better in the end. And I'm gonna now start building up that color just a little bit more intensely right in this outer part of my eye by swirling my brush in circular motions. So I'm gonna start with the kind of pinky champagne. I'm gonna use that pretty much all over my entire lid. And I think I'm just gonna go in with my finger and apply that right onto my lid. You see how pretty that is? Really soft, it's not gonna be over the top you could definitely get more impact if you dampen your brush. The bottom shade here that is a kind of purpley type of shade. Did I even swatch that for you? I'm not sure if I did. But that one is kind of like a purpley type shade. I'm going to take that and use that on the outer part of my eye. And just kind of blend those two shades together. I'm going to pick up an eyeshadow brush with nothing on it and continue blending this out a little bit more. I'm going to go back into that first crease brush with nothing extra, no additional product, and I'm going to blend all of these edges out and blend that darker shade right into the crease colors, just a little bit more. And then I'm going to take the same combination of shades and run those on my lower lash line to sort of pull this entire look together.
I'm just doing a very thin line of liner and I'm using the Longwear Satin Kajal liners. I have a couple of these. This is the soft black. So it adds a bit of smokiness to the lash line, but it's not as harsh and intense as black. And then I'm taking an angled liner to soften that out. And then the last step would be the mascara. For lips today, I'm gonna to go straight into my very favorite product from this brand. It's the Italian Marble Lipsticks. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably already guessed that that was gonna be something that I talked about. I have four lipsticks. I bought two newer shades recently, but my other two shades that I've used a lot is Berry Banana and Berry Vanilla. So the vanilla one, Berry Vanilla, is more pink and it has the old packaging, which is honestly gonna be, I'm just gonna say, a little cheapy feeling. The new packaging, however, feels more weighted, more substantial, and this is the Berry Banana that I've also shown in previous videos. But what's satisfying in the upgrade of packaging is that magnetic closure. Yes, it's the little things, but it's an upgrade to the packaging that I just didn't really care for, but I just kind of overlooked that because the formula is really great. So let me show you the new ones. So the beauty of these lipsticks is how they look. The presentation is beautiful. The packaging is now right up there with formula with the upgrade and the magnetic closure, but the swirls of color that you see in these lipstick bullets is just absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Like, how could you not enjoy that? I think it's a really unique twist on a classic lipstick bullet. When you apply these, it kind of swirls all the shades together and it gives you a really pretty shade. So the shades that I recently purchased were Peach Bellini and the strawberry toffee. Those are the ones that I did up close shots of. So let me show you what the other two look like that I've had in my collection. And here is the other two that I had in my collection. The pink one is Berry Banana, and then the darker one is the Berry Banana. And these are just your classic, rich, creamy lipstick formula with a bit of a sheen to it, where it's not super glossy, but it's not matte. And some of these, like one of the newer ones, has a more kind of metallic shimmer kind of running through it. So here's the Strawberry Toffee, and then here is the Peach Bellini. Do you see how pretty that looks? I think I'm gonna go for the Strawberry Toffee. Let me swatch my first one that is my absolute love, and that is the Berry Banana. So you see it's a little bit more kind of pink. It's the perfect everyday color. I can't get enough of that. Then Berry Banana, which is a little bit more brown on me, but it's still a really nice kind of nude. So there's the color. So Berry Banana, Berry Vanilla, Strawberry Toffee, Peach Bellini. And this one is a little bit more coral, so I think that I, I may want to add a little bit more brown to it, so I'm gonna mix in the Berry Banana. It's gonna deepen this up just a bit. Do you see? Because the Strawberry Toffee is a little bit more coral and I do have a little bit more of some kind of reddish, rusty type shades on the outer part of my eye, so I really wanted to kind of tie in the look. I feel like the kind of corally shade is probably not the right tone to go with this eye look. But I couldn't help myself because I really wanted to try one of my new lipsticks today. And I'm so glad I was able to do that with you on camera. And this is the lip combo for today. Another recommendation of mine that I think is worth checking out if you like to wear highlighter, check out some of her highlighters. I have a few here. The very popular French Vanilla is probably one of my very favorite highlighters. It won one of the best in beauty um, highlighters for last year. It won a spot in my best in beauty because it's really great. It kind of gives me a ethereal kind of candlelit type of glow coming from within the skin. It's what I'm wearing today and I showed you that in the demo. It comes also in that Tuscan Dreams palette and also in the Full Face Basics palette. So I have quite a bit of this to last me a long time, but you don't have to buy the face palette to experience the French Vanilla. You can get it individually as you see here but it's just such a pretty kind of soft glow. If you want something a little bit more intense, check out Portofino. Portofino is definitely a lot more blinding and more intense, which I have and love, and I adore it so, so much. But you can also get duos, which is also great too, because you get to try two different shades. I have French Poodle and French Almond, so it's a split pan. She does have some that are individual like this. Split pans where you can get two shades, which I think it's even better bargain for the price point. You can have some, I think that she has one that has four different shades on the website as well, if it's still available. You can definitely check out 
the different shades, different tones, and kind of experience the formula. If this video was helpful, kind of giving you some insights on what I think is worth checking out, what's worth the investment, kind of shining the light on the brand that is really something that kind of is under the radar. Not a lot of people are talking about it, maybe because they don't have a lot of products coming out all the time, new launches, new products. Like every week, some brands are just throwing something new at you. This brand is not doing that. It's more of a kind of classic, more staple kind of brand in my eyes. And also maybe because it's not an in-store brand. You have to get it through the website um, or QVC, and, or if you happen to have Nordstrom Rack, they do have some of the brand products there as well that you can probably get some products to try. But I think those are kind of the reasons why they're not at the forefront of makeup products because they're not releasing a lot of things. They're not an in-store brand. I remember when they used to be sold at Ulta way back in my Ulta days when I used to work for Ulta. This was back in 2008, nine, way back early 2000s when I used to go shop there and I saw the Laura Geller products. And I remember buying my first Laura Geller kit through Ulta. So I really wish that Ulta were bringing back the brand because that would be nice to be able to go in person, see everything, and then just have like instant gratification of buying the product instead of ordering and waiting for it to arrive. But anyways, I digress. I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions about the products, feel free to reach out. I love hearing from you guys. If you have any favorites from this brand, let me know what your favorites are. What have you been loving from this brand? Is there something that I have to try that I didn't talk about in this video that you think I would really like? If you've watched my videos and know the things that I like, let me know, send me your recommendations. And I hope that this new year has been off to a great start for you. I look forward to filming, to creating more content for you guys. Let me know what you wanna see next. I have so many things planned that I want to do, so many ideas in my head, and I'm writing my little notes on my phone of upcoming videos that I'd like to do. So stay tuned for that, subscribe so you don't miss out. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram. We can be friends there and chat. Hopefully, I'll see you there. It always pops up here on the screen. Take care, you guys, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye-bye.